Yep, that's the end of life indicator. Two green flashes, two red flashes, and a beep every 30 seconds means that it's time to replace this propane detector. Once the end of life is indicating on this device, it still works, but you should replace it within 30 days or so. And you can suppress the annoying alarm by depressing the test button. And the alarm will cease and it'll all go green. However, in 72 hours, which is three days, this will go back to the end of life alarm. And you can do this for up to 10 times and then you can't defeat it. So once the alarm starts going off, you're going to want to replace it. And obviously the first thing you want to do is to turn the power off. And depending on your coach, this could be anywhere between directly connected to the battery or through the breaker and fuse panel like mine is. And for some odd reason, this is connected to the stereo circuit. Guess it doesn't really matter. And the way I found it is I started pulling fuses until the light went out on a sensor. So I'm going to mark this circuit and also indicate that in the, including the stereo, it also feeds power to the propane detector. Now the owner's manual says that this should be replaced 60 months after installation. However, does that mean when you install it or does that mean when it's manufactured? And I reached out to the manufacturer and they never answered my question. My RV has been in operation for 61 months when this went off. So I'm going to conclude that there must be a timer in here somehow that tells when the thing is ready to be replaced. Even then I've heard from others that have bought these and in fact, this happened to me in the boating world, and I had to replace a carbon monoxide detector that sometimes when you buy them from a store, they can be a little bit old. And I've seen where people have bought these and they've been up to a year and a half old. So I would not recommend buying these from a RV store unless you know that the RV store is a high volume turnover. Amazon is probably a place to avoid because you just don't know how long those things have been sitting around. I took a chance and bought mine from Home Depot from their online website because a lot of Home Depot things are drop shipped from the factory. When I opened the package, on the back side, it says the manufacturing date is February 16th of 2021. And today's date is March 22nd, 2021, so it's fresh from the factory. And shame on MTI for not allowing you to see the manufacturing date through the package. If it's important enough for them to stamp the date that it was manufactured, it should be important enough for them to let you know through the package when it was manufactured. And this is a replacement installation, but of course if it's a new installation, check with the installation manual for this and it'll give you the best idea of where to mount it. And when you do hook it to a circuit, you want something that does not have any switches on it so you don't inadvertently turn it off. So the actual mounting process is fairly easy. All we have to do is pull the old one off, snip a couple wires, rewire it, and we're done. One advantage of buying the same exact unit is that you don't have to change any kind of a mount that might have come with the old one. It's just a snap in place, and that's true for this one. So all I have to do is lift up on it, and then I can pull it out. And so here I've just spliced into the wires, and then it's just a matter of pushing the wires in enough and get the cover to slide back down. There we go. And now the last step is what we call a smoke check. We have lights. And the blinking green means warm-up cycle. So I'm not sure how long that will run. And now it's solid green, which means normal. And we should actually test this. So we'll just try it. We'll just push the button. I guess that's all there is to it to do the test. So we're done with this. Visit rv-project.com.